What's happening guys, it's Abhina from Phone Bunch and this is a gaming review of the newly launched Coolpad Note 3 Plus. So let's begin by checking the temperatures first, it's about 34 degrees centigrade in the front and back and the first game we are playing is Riptide GP2. Now I just want to tell you that we don't have an AC running in the background and we will check temperatures every few games. And you can see that there is no lag at least till now. The viewing angles of the display are quite wide as well. Now we are moving on to subway surfers. And here too the colors actually look quite good. Now you have a 1080p panel on the Coolpad Note 3 Plus. It is being driven by the same MediaTek MT6753 SoC as before. And you can see the main issue here. The increase in resolution cannot be handled by this GPU quite well. Asphalt 8 in high settings is lagging quite a bit, it's actually unplayable. Now we are shifting to medium settings and here too I can see quite a bit of lag. But yes the game is at least playable. At low settings it works quite well but you wouldn't want to play there. Now there are a few good things here, the display is quite bright, it is quite vibrant as well, the speakerphone is quite loud, but yes the bezel surrounding the display does become distracting quite a bit especially while you are playing games. And the thing is I do notice this phone is getting a bit hot especially in the front. We check temperatures after playing this game. Now we have been playing games continuously for 7 odd minutes now. And let's check the temperature. So we are at about 46 degrees centigrade in the front which is pretty hot. At the back it is relatively quite cooler. And again the temperatures are increasing in the front. We have already reached 47 degrees. So yes, definitely this phone does have some overheating issues. But we'll confirm that with some more games. It might just be asphalt 8. Now we are playing Modern Combat 5. And here too you can see that there is quite a bit of lag. So the higher end games that we have tried till now, Asphalt 8, Modern Combat 5, they do lag quite a bit. Now this game is at least playable, Asphalt 8 at high settings was not even playable. Now I didn't notice this particular issue, especially the lag in day to day use. It's just in gaming that this phone doesn't perform as well. And as I've said, the good things again, the display is sharp, good color reproduction, but I do feel this phone is getting hot, especially where my left thumb is. And you can see the reason why. We are around 47 degrees centigrade in the front, and the maximum temperature has reached to about 48 degrees. So yes, this phone definitely heats up with even very little gaming. So if you are continuously playing games for about 3 to 5 minutes with higher end games, this phone does overheat, especially on the screen just where my left thumb is right now. Now we are playing Nova 3, we are just testing the phone a little bit more to see to see if any of the higher end games actually perform better and here too there is quite a bit of lag. So again it's the SoC and the display combination to blame here. With the 720p panel the Coolpad Note 3 did perform quite well while the plus variant doesn't perform that well in gaming and you can see insane temperatures here. So this phone definitely does overheat. Now this is the last game of our review, it's Dead Trigger 2. This is actually playing far better. Now this phone definitely does overheat. We will talk to Coolpad about whether they can fix this with OTA updates. Now it seems that the processor does get a bit throttled when you are playing games continuously as the heating increases and that makes the games lag even more progressively. This phone is definitely not meant for gaming. It heats up quite a bit and most of the games that we tried did lag quite a bit. In short, if you like to play a lot of games on your phone, this won't be the way to go. Well folks, that concludes our gaming review. We'll be back with more on the Coolpad Note 3 Plus. Stay tuned to Phone Bunch for more such video reviews. Do subscribe to get genuine reviews on phones. Thanks for watching and as always, have a great day.